Hey everybody, what is going on? My name's Josh. Howdy, I'm Sarah. We are bored at home. That we are. And Sarah, what are we playing today? We are playing Shelby Stacker. Shelby Stacker. Yes. A fantastic little, I was going to say dice rolling game, but I'm going to change that to dice, dice manipulation game. game. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just going for dice game. Well, I mean, <laughs> both, both are accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, and first, before we start, I need to give a shout out to Wellycon for mm -hmm. uh, I won this from Wellycon, yes, and it was a and it was a, and it was play a to, play to win. grand old time. Never yeah. win anything, so that no, was we fantastic. played it, loved it, yeah. And then you won it, so then we won it. Like, well yeah. in. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So we're going to be checking that out today. What is it all about? It's all about people, and I, some of you may be able to relate to this, some of you might not, who have overflowing games on their board game shelves. Oh, games. <laughs> and um, you are trying to place your games into... Tetris. It's kind of like Dice Tetris, yeah, yeah. it really is. So um, what you're trying to do is uh, you're trying to sort the dice in numerical order from lowest to highest yep. up your shelf. Uh, the game goes for seven rounds and there is some scoring to be done at the end that we will go through. Yep. But most importantly, we need to pick some colors, Char yep. characters. No, we've got colors. colors. I've already chosen my color. Okay. So in you choose a color, I am pink, you are blue. Yes, okay. And you all you get all the same like a set mm -hmm. but to play you need to choose eight of them yeah now at bot at home mm -hmm. we like a random we like a random so i'm so, gonna yeah random eight they do recommend for your first game to just play with one to eight yep uh we've played it a couple of times we think we got it so we'll see we're just gonna see how we go so eight yeah. randoms all right one so um, meet one of those. Wow, you still have a random. I shuffle and take. It's literally said random. You've that and is you know random. what you've done? You've made me lose count of how many I've picked. See, seven, eight. eight. There we go. Right, I've picked eight random cards. I've picked eight. Then we need um, the... these cards are your kind of like your powers for the game, your abilities for the game. Yeah. Each card has got uh I'll bring up, okay, so I've got one here called Bargain Hunter, right? So I'll bring it up. So you can see in the top left corner, it has the number six. So that is your initiative for the round. Yep. The person with the lowest initiative gets to pick from the... Uh, dice, gets dice, to pick their dice box first. Pick, pick their dice box first. And then you'll see at the bottom, the Bargain Hunter power. So in this case, it says flip one dice in your box which is your mailbox, not on your shelf, yeah, when we go to, to the number on the opposite side. Each card is unique. They all have a number. I think it's from 1 to 16 would make sense. Uh, two sets of eight, 1 to 16. And uh, yep. we'll get into all the abilities yep. as we play them. Let's shoot down to the table and... Boom. So, three things to note. Yes. This is a box. That's where your board games get delivered to you from. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and you tried to hide them from your partner. Oh, she she we keeps finding that. them. <laughs> she keeps being at home when they get delivered. <laughs> this is your shelf. Yes. Where you're trying your to put pride your board games. Pride yep. and joy. And then this one is your shelf of shame. It really is. It's that, I think we all have, is that they won't fit on your shelf. So they go off to the side in like a random pile? For me, my shelf of shame is my games that I've bought that I haven't been able to play yet. <laughs> you know, the, all of those games, and there are, so, there are so many. Like these games that I love, I'm like, yes, I want that game. And I'm just going to put it on the shelf. Until I get a chance Until to play I get a chance it. to play it. Yeah, and yeah. If, if this was real life, my shelf of shame would be <laughs> give, me, yeah, give, me some more, give me some more of these little things yeah mine's my overflow i have um i have two i have one which is all my expansion boxes i can't possibly throw oh out. yeah and yeah. things like your your pandemic legacies that you've played but i i just you can't get rid of them i can't throw out the box i can't throw out the stuff i use the pieces to be all fair the, the components from pandemic legacy have been oh. used multiple times for all kinds but of I games but i have a cupboard Kids that's just <laughs> like, i have a cupboard stuff. that's just full of random boxes mm -hmm. and but then on my board game shelf next to it i kind of have like a 
stack the... I'm like, yeah, I'm going to put it on there. I just... I just need to find space. I just need to find space. Where I've got, like, stuff wedged. And mm -hmm. really, I need to buy a bigger shelf. That's what I keep telling you. That's what I already you need, did. You know, you need to buy more shelves. <laughs> <laughs> just fill the house with we more have, We shelves. have a problem. You know, yeah, yeah. We, we digress. Yes, right. right. So, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to go through the game setup guide with you all. And it's going to be super your... easy. That's right. I, I thought you'd appreciate that. Yeah. So, first, you've got your big shelf. You've got yourself sham you've got your reference card now your reference card i will bring up tells you the end of game scoring really self-explanatory you keep it alongside your big shelf and yeah. it tells you like so you can see the top row if you manage to build a column from bottom to top you get six points yeah. uh for next one down three points next one down one point yeah uh and then uh well, we'll go through the rest of the scoring. When we score up, I think it'll make more sense when you can yeah. see what's happening. But So that's your scoring sheet. Uh, then, in the centre of the table, your delivery boxes, as Sarah has talked about. Yep. Uh, when playing with fewer than four people, you uh, you know, you know only use one per person, one per person plus, plus one. one. Thank you. Okay. Now, we've got a big dice bag. Dice bag! Big dice bag. Uh, with two players, you remove ten dice of each colour. If you're playing with three players... They're beautiful dice. Oh, no, they're great. I love the colours of them. Mm. Um, with three players, you remove five dice of each colour. And with four players, you just use all them dice. Uh, and then you're going to shuffle the three sets of bonus cards. So Sarah has that. already shuffled them. Let's reveal them. What do you got first? Right, this is the... Uh, Shelfy sidekick. sidekick. If you have the the most blue dice on your big shelf at any time, you can claim that. So as soon as you do, you grab it as quick as can. Yes, but I th I, th I think that the shelfy sidekick. So like, if I have three blue dice and then you get four oh. blue dice, and you have more. You get him, and I think it's whoever has the most blue dice no. at the end of the game. Would you like me to, would you like I me to clarify it was, the shelfy yeah, sidekick? Yeah, yeah, because I thought it was take it, the first person. Uh, uh, um, shelfy sidekick. The first player to collect at least three dice of the depicted colour claims this card. Mm -hmm. If multiple players achieve this in the same round, it goes to the player who went earliest in turn order. Yeah, but it. watch out, the shelfy sidekick is not loyal to anyone. If another player has more dice of that colour than you in their big shelf, the card goes to them. Mm. So there you go. Whoever has the correct. most blue. Like, what yeah. was that? How, how, how? Now I'm not can repeating you, it. Can you say that again? It's, it's done. Good, we're good. Not, we're not... <sighs> I've got it on video. I'm going <laughs> to put that as my ringtone. <laughs> right, next one. <laughs> We've got the first to claim. Yes. It's as simple as if you get this design on your board, you get it. You get those points, yeah. So first person to have two purples, two greens, three orange. And so then... That's a four-pointer. This is end game points. So three points if you get... Um, each row with at least three dice of the same value scores. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So if you've got three fives, three threes, three ones. In those positions. Okay, so it has to be a long. That's a rough one. That's tough. Yeah, so you get three points for each row of the same numbers. So those are our random bonuses for this turn. Oof. Right, let's get into so, it. So, hang on. That was, uh, I'll just make sure that I've... Yep, shuffled, revealed. Right, easy. How does a game work? There are five phases to the game. It sounds like a lot. It is not. Okay, so step one, fill your delivery boxes. So three dice per box. And once they're on there, they're on there. You can't change them or manipulate them what while does you're sitting This them remind me of, it reminds me of Azul. Azul. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so then, that's step one. Boom, done. The next thing you're going to do is you're both going to pick a character card from the from your hand, bearing in mind your initiative order. Yeah, you wanna you're choosing a character that you you're not necessarily gonna use this round, but mm -hmm. that it puts into your pool in front of you to use. Yes. Um. So yeah, you might not use it right now, but it's good to have there, and you might you might wanna use it. You might wanna use it next round. You might wanna use it early. Exactly. But you, keep, you need to keep in mind initiative because whoever has the lowest initiative is going to be able to take these boxes yes. also something to note that i love the way they've done the one to six on these dice so mm -hmm. this is a two this is a sixes which is two on here they are wild you can ch you can keep them as a six 
I mean, early on, really bad idea. Yeah. But you can also change them to any other number. So mm -hmm. you can change them to a one if you want. Yes. Uh, so, yes. So, Sarah's explained it perfectly. I'm going to do this one. You're going to do this one. Draw. Ready? <laughs> right, so you are going. I got one, and I don't even need this card. I, I know you want one of those sixes because I did too. Yes, I am taking this one. I put him okay. into my pool. Right, so we've slipped, so that's so step three is collect your dice. So I've it, chosen this one. Mm -hmm. Now Josh gets to choose from the other two. <sighs> I'm a bit bitter about it, but okay, I'm gonna take. <laughs> Did you this... not have a number one? I didn't have a one because I picked randomly. What this happens? was the lowest number I had. What happens if you both have one? So at the bottom here, you'll see that it's got oh, letters. So if yes. we both put ones and yes. yours was a C and mine was a B, then yep. I'm earlier. Mm. Yeah, al alphabet good order as well. Oh, All right. Fine. So okay. yes, chosen a box. These go back in, oh, they, at the end. Yeah, we'll do that at the end, end of the round. So, so next is collect your dice, and then you're going to place your dice on your shelf for step four. Yeah. So, so they have to go in lowest to highest. You, if you put a, you can't start putting a dice at the top. You have to start from the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah. And any dice above it has to be higher. Yeah, not the same number, not no, lower. has to be higher. higher. Yeah. Um, I'm going to change both of these to ones, what? obviously. Oh, right, I thought you were using a power. No, no. I'm Do you know, I don't even know what the power is of mine that I was using. So I played Neat Freak. Are you playing it? No, no, I was just looking to see what it does. I'll yeah. exp I'll talk about its power. Yeah, when, it. when we use the powers, when we use them all. Okay, we'll I'm going to put my blue two right. there. I'm going to have to turn this round because my brain doesn't function enough to, uh, <laughs> to, to, to do work it upside out that, down. that pattern that way. Yeah. Okay. And then I need a green. That one. Uh, do I want to use, do I want to put a four blue? Oh, yeah, you have to, don't you? Okay. Yep, that's me. I've emptied my box. Right. You've emptied your I've box. Okay, so box. that was step four, placing your dice. Uh, so, uh, do, do you want me to read the, like, the rules for dice placement, or do you feel like... I think we've I'll just, just set check. them all. Yeah, you've got to do bottom to top. Oh, it has to be the same colour. Oh, so yeah. you, if you start a roll blue, it has to stay blue. Yeah. Uh, always has to be higher. You can have all wild. rolls of blue if you really want. It oh yeah, make it very difficult. No, that is it. Now the only other thing to mention: if I couldn't follow those rules, whatever dice you can't place, go onto your shelf of shame. Yeah. Uh, and then that's it. That's step four. Step five is three yeah. dice go on the bag, and we go again. That's that's round Same one. Class. Seven rounds of that, and uh, oh, we're in, oh, you've done a fourer. All right, one, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three. The worst part is, I now know I've used my lowest card, so I can. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, gotta, what we've got to assess those yeah, boxes. Yeah. Um, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. I like that. Oh, I, I don't like that. I think... But if I do that... Uh, no, that's not going to work for me. <laughs> uh, what about... Uh, oh yeah, I could do that one. Oh, that's an. I can't look through one. them today. I, I'm overthinking it. Oh, glass day. Mm. I know. I know. I'm just gonna go with this one. All right, okay, ready? ready? Yeah, go. Draw. Ten. Five. Okay. Okay. I am gonna take. I am gonna take this box. Okay. That box. I am going gonna, to take. What are you going to take? This box. Okay. I'm going to use my power. Okay. Dice chucker. All right. Reroll any number of dice in your box. Okay. So I'm going to turn that over. So once you've used it, you can't use yeah, it. Yeah, they're one once per game. And I'm going to keep my six. Of course. And then reroll my other two. I hope you get two fives. That would be really exciting. Oh, One and a five. Oh, okay, so it's, it's not great. But it's it's not ideal for you. But it does mean 
Three, I'll get three ones in a row. I mean, that is good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Let's play some dice. Oh. So I'm going green three there. Oh, five. Where's that one need to go? Um, I'm going to put this blue, this purple two oh, there. Change that six two. Two. Um, turn them. That could be good. That could what be good. Uh, I'm gonna for now. I'm gonna put this one for now here. Yes, in case I, you know, maybe I'll maybe, maybe I'll, I'll move it later. Maybe I'll figure it out. You know. Yeah. All right. Right. That's it. Next round. Oh, here we go. Okay? Here we go. I'm not it's supposed to be the most right. trustworthy person that puts these dice on the box, so I'm not sure if uh, we've, we've nailed that. Up. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. I see what you're doing. Ooh, two of the same number and colour. Um, I don't want any of those boxes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Um, okay. I think, I mean, I know what box I want. It's now just about what pile. Um, uh, okay. The graphics on these cards are, are great. They're very cool as well. I'm pretty sure the guy, is this a Shem Phillips game? I'm pretty sure it is. We just have a look at the box. I'm pretty sure this is... It's an artist. Yeah. Oh, it is, yes. Yes. It's game designed by Shem Phillips. Yes. So, it's dude like makes amazing games. Really also, he a local and made one of our first videos that we ever did, which was Not to Luca, one of uh, a bought at home favorite. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, thank you, Shem Phillips. You make awesome games. Uh, I'm going to go with. Ooh, I don't need that ooh. one. That's an interesting one. It is. Oh. Uh, but what I'm going to do... I am going to play that. I'm going to use this one. Yep. Okay, I've picked. So I've picked. badly. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. All right, man. You good? Yeah. Go. 14. I'm going six. Okay, so what basket do I want? I had a plan. Mm -hmm. I like and it. now I've... Um... So often he's like, I have a plan. I'm going to... Do... Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I totally did have a plan. What was I doing? Oh, I'm going to take this box. That's the box I wanted. Now you cannot have it. But I want that. Alas, there is no box I for you. I physically you can't take, take the, that one. Take the rubbish boxes. <laughs> this has got a six in it, though, so it's not the worst. Right, so I'm going to use my Bargain Hunter power, Ooh, what's that which mean? is uh, flip one dice in your box to the number on the opposite side. I'm going to take seven. this one and turn it into a six, and now it's a one. Yeah, now it's anything. Yeah, so I'm going to turn it into a five. Well, I've got a green right. six, and I'm going to turn that into a one. Nice. And then I'm going to put uh, that there. Now. Two there. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. I am oh. going to... Oh, look at that! Did it without even realising. You I'm have. Think of wow. all the points. So I am going to use the play tester. Mm -hmm. Change one dice in your box yes. or big shelf to any value. I like that. Eh? I'm going to change this one mm -hmm. to a three. Okay. I going am going to use two of my powers. I'm going to use the neat freak. Return one dice from your big shelf to your box for this round. Okay? okay. So I'm going to move this three to my box. So that's used. Right. Then I'm going to use the cat to decrease the value of one dice in your box or big shelf by one. I'm going to turn this into a one. And then I'm going to put a two and a three. Was it the three that you moved back? Yes. Oh, yeah. Three. Ta-da. Okay. It was, but then I've just gotten rid of my three twos that you were lining up along this. the bottom there. I see your three ones and three twos. Uh -huh. So I've used the cat as well. Boxes go back. Boxes That's go the end back. of the round. Go again. Oh, oh, hey, I've got three blues. Give me that uh, shelfie sidekick. Yeah. Give me that shelfie sidekick. Okay. 
No powers unavailable to me. Available to me. What, except for that one. Except for the one I'm about to reveal, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I can't use that one. Oh, no, they, She's a strategic it. game as Shelfie Stacker. You know, oh, you've got to be on I read it and that's totally... Planning your dice moves. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know, if you listen closely, you can decipher Sarah's humming for the words that she's reading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go with that. You going that one? Are right, you ready? One, yep. Go. Two? Two. I'm going ten. You're up first. Right, I'm going to take... Which one? This one. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to take this one. You're on higher numbers than me. That I am. So I'm going to use Neat Freak. Okay. Which is return one dice from your big box mm -hmm. to your box. Yes. I'm going to remove this purple and put it over there. Good call. For this round only. Sounds good. That's used. I am going to place this green five there. I'm going to place this blue six there. And then I... Taking I'm... it! Oh, you got there. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm going to use Dice Chucker to... Oh, no, I'm not, actually. No, I'm just going to place that green right there. I'm going to put this one on my travel case. Okay. Uh, I thought I'm going to use Bad Lender. Yes. Bad Lender, and I'm going to put it on my travel Store case. Store one dice from your box on this travel case and return it to your box at any time. Yeah. That's it. I don't That's... know how I'm going to do that because I've got a full row of ones. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna do that either. Right, give me uh give me the dice bag. It's my turn. Okay, I wanna I wanna set some dice. Half of it. Here we go. All right, three. Can you get me two threes, one blue and one um orange one purple? Red. There's there's a purple there, does that help? No. There's more purple. How's that? Is that helpful to you? Because I hope it isn't. <laughs> Absolutely not in any way helpful. Absolutely garbage. Yes. Absolute garbage. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to play that one. I mean, I don't need to do that one yet. I don't think I need to do that one. I'm going to do... Interesting. This one. I want this power. <gasps> This is a great power that I had only just read about. <laughs> Someone's not been assessing their hand. Oh. What, have you got? what have you got? Okay. You good? Yeah. Go. 16. Nine. Okay. Uh, so I'm picking first. Yeah, I need you to pick first because I'm really unsure <laughs> which one to do. Um, I think I know. If you don't want to choose, I can choose. No, it's fine. I'm going to take this one. Oh, you person. I am a person. Oh, hang on. It's, hang on, hang on. Before choosing a box, I'm, I might use my power. Okay. Do I need to use my power? Conquestor. Hang on, I'm just figuring out because you know how I get. Uh, actually... No, it doesn't make sense to use my power. I'm not using my power, I'm just taking this box. So I can take a box? You can take a box. Box is yours to take. What would you uh, like? Would you like the two purples and a blue, or the two blues and a green? What are you feeling? I mean... 
Don't want any of them. <laughs> I just can't place any of them. I mean, that sounds great. Shelf of Shame's looking pretty empty. Maybe Shelf uh, of Shame's about to get very full. Maybe you could start placing some dice on there. Do it. Do it. Right. Take the worst one possible. <laughs> I can't decide. She's a tricky one. Do you want the bad one or the bad one? Oh, I'll take, I'll it. take this Two one. purples and a blue. Fantastic. Yeah, and then I'm going to use the shuffler. Okay. And it is raise one or more dice up in a row mm -hmm. to place dice from your box into the empty space. Fantastic. So I'm going to move this one up to place that one Sounds there. good. And Flip that 16. Those two are going in my shelf of shame. Okay, I'm going to put this blue, this purple three there, purple five there, and then uh, I'm going to use, oh, actually, oh, it's a risk. No, I'm going to use dice chucker. Oh, yep. To shuffle, oh, no, I'm not, because then I'd have to roll a six. I'm just going to put that on my shelf, Shane. Okay. okay, that's it. Put your boxes back, and let's get some more dice. Right, three more per thing. All right, here's three. It shouldn't be difficult. There's three more. Oh, triple fours. Do you know, I don't think I've got a single four in my box. No, we haven't had any fours. There you go. Now, this, uh, there are two rounds left because you should always end with one uh, power card that you haven't used. I mean, that's an interesting card. Um, that's not helpful. That could be helpful. I'm playing this card. I've decided three cards left. It wasn't too tricky a decision. What is going to be a tricky decision is... This one. You good? Yes. Go. Four. Seven. All right, what do you want? What box are you feeling? What's your uh, What's your heart telling you? You know? What's, what are you feeling in here? And you got... <laughs> oh. I'm going to take this one. Okay. Oh, it's a three, not a six. It oh, sure it's... is. You should totally take that one. It's fine. Oh, I can't place that one. I can't place that one and that one. I'm going to have three. You just have to give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> just think I'm letting my brain just, just, just figure out what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, there's just so much badness. So much badness. What are you taking? That one can go there, that one can go, that one just... Ugh! I'm going to take... The three fours. The three fours. Oh, thank goodness, because I really wanted this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that's there. grand. Ooh. Right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to place the green six. Just there. Top of, top of the morning to you. Green three to there. Yeah. I just realised it's not that, but it really it needs to be like that. Yeah, I, I had them upside down just in yeah, case the yeah. pink. But then, then I realised that they can't really read it anyway because no, it's no. quite far away. Uh, and then I've got... I'm going to use... Do I use that? Mm. I'm going to use oh, wish the I... re-gifter okay. and return one dice from my shelf of shame or my big box. Mm -hmm. And discard it in this gift box. I'm going to get rid of that. To okay. that. Put that in. Annoyingly, I can't take it back. No, I'm that one's just gone. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to use the monochromist. Treat one dice as a different colour when placing it on your big shelf. Nice. So I'm going to turn that blue five into a green five. No, no. The last round's going to be really difficult. This is the you. last round. I just realised five, five, six, five. Oh, six. no, I'm well aware. You're about to get your uh, shelf, of shame. shelf of shame is about to be. Oh. Well, unless I draw all sixes here, that wasn't <laughs> great. It's not a great start. No, it's that's not great for me either. <sighs> yep, that's that's some dice, and then there's some more dice. Okay, none of that is ideal 
for me. So. All right. I'm ready. Are you just? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, that's not helpful. Uh, okay, sure. Last round. Here we go. Eleven. Nine. All right. You're up. Okay. Give me a moment. <laughs> why did everyone's like, why did you let Sarah go first? <laughs> yes. Why did she go first? That plus that plus ten plus that plus ten plus that. Damn it, like two from each of them. Oh! Ha ha! Okay. Before choosing a box mm -hmm. to take, you may swap one dice from another available dice. Yes, yeah, so you can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do swapsies. Swapsies! So what do you got for us? Right. I can literally place nothing but sixes. Mm -hmm. That's a real problem. There's no sixes. <laughs> it's a real problem for me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it really is. I'm gonna... Nothing but sixes. Swap that one for that one. So which of those two boxes are you taking? And I'm taking this one. Okay. I'm taking this one. Right, here's what we do. First, <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, hang on. No, it doesn't matter because I'm playing this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Dice Chucker, which yes. is re-roll any number of dice in your box. I hope you get a wand. I'm going for all sixes. We're looking for three sixes here, okay? This is what I need. I got one, one six. six. Okay, one Beautiful. six is okay. We've got a two and a four. It's better than what you had. It is better than what I had. Oh, you should use the Conquester first. No, oh, because they, uh, because I was re-rolling them anyway. It didn't yeah, matter. Yeah. The only other thing I've got is Math Trader. Switch the values of two dice in your box, which unfortunately Next doesn't really difference. make any difference for me. So I'm going to put the... Right. Oh, well, it could make a difference, actually, but it's not going to. Four. Six purple, two shelf right. of shame. That's, Four. that's where we're at. That's all I got. It's all I can do. I want to be able to put that one back, but I can't. It's so annoying. It's really just, I should have stopped it's, it. Hang on. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing else I can nothing do. Nothing I can do. That's it. That's right. the end of the round. So now we're going to score well, up. And then we'll go through each um each layer, layer of scoring. Layer. Each, each layer. layer of scoring as we go. So we'll be right back. Um, hey, everybody. Right. Welcome back. We have scored up. Do you want to go through Yes, each? I was going to go through yeah. it. So, um, score six points per column that ends at the top layer. So, we each got one, Both as you can see. Yeah. Then three points if they end at the second layer. I got six points. You got nine points. You got three points. Sorry. Th ends. Oh, ends. This is what yeah. I did last time. Exactly. So, yeah, these sorry, two end one. here. So, I yeah. get six points for that. And then if they end on this row, you've got one point. I get one point. I get two points. Yes. Then um, you score up your pips. So four plus four plus five plus five plus two. You're the same. You're the, yeah, the so I got six, 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 five, five. So I got 28. You got 20. Um, and then score all, all your bonuses. So yes. So I had five points for the shelfy sidekick. For most blues. I got this, so I got four points for that. For the pattern. For first, the pattern. For the first claim. And then for rows with threes in it. Tri yeah, so the same value across a row. I think I only got that once, and it was with three fives. And I got three ones, three twos, three fours. Yes, so you so. got uh, nine points yes. for that. Yes. And then yes. your shelf of shame, you minus two points for each dice. On the shelf of shame. Yes, which was quite good why I was able to use these. Yeah, these two so I had minus six. And I had minus two. Which oh, gave nice us three, a grand total of I got 43 points, Sarah got 40 points, which makes me the shelfy stacker champion. <laughs> Thank you all for your support. I want to acknowledge Shem Phillips for creating the game. I want to thank Wally Khan. I want to thank all of you for making this possible. <laughs> oh, and his head's never going to get out the front. No, door. no, it's not. It was great. So <laughs> right. that was Shelby Stacker. Yeah, well, That's good fun. Like It's really simple. So my youngest daughter really likes playing this game. Like yeah. introduced to her. She she plays it solo. She, we play it together. It is good. It, it's Very a good good. time. Yeah. Check it out if you can. Uh yeah, we have a lot we'll, of fun. We'll catch you next time. Yeah. Bye. See?